in school by wp algorithm in the previous video i talked about elementor core versions brand new site settings and all the things that come with it such as global colors and global typography now in this video i want to talk about elementor pros brand new theme builder in action as you all know theme builder helps us design our header footer your archive page 404 page and a lot more so that's what you see here but it's not about the theme builder that you usually find in the back end it's the front end page builder or the front end theme builder so just open up any elementor page post or a template once you open it up you now have a hidden theme builder so you just click on the hamburger menu from any page post or a template and by the way theme builder is a part of elementor pro so if you don't have elementor pro you can get it from the link in the description and you now see in addition to the site settings that we discussed previously you also have theme builder so you can simply click on that and it takes you to this brand new interface now this is where it's really awesome so it's telling me or it's showing me my sites preview at a glance as you can see all of them are grayed out and they're basically placeholders and you can see my header in action i can simply view my header by looking at here i can see my footer by looking at here and so on so basically i have more than one header and that's the reason why it's showing me all the things that i have on my site and it gives you this bird's eye preview so if you want to create a new header or if you want to edit an existing one you can simply click on that and it takes you to the header part and these are all the headers that i have on my site and this is the active one you can see that from the green button or the green dot here so let's say i just want to edit this header or let's say i just want to edit conditions for it i can simply click here and edit conditions from here so maybe i just want to show this header only on few pages and i can design another header to show it on another page so i'll do one thing i'll click on theme builder again i'll go to header i'll delete this one or let's actually edit conditions and i'll simply remove the conditions and click on save and close that's as good as deleting the header itself so none of the header is active let's set an active header for our temp for our website i'll just click on add new now it just works in the same old way except that you're doing it all from within one interface so you can pick any header from here so let's say i just pick this and by the way if you don't have any idea about theme builder you can check out the video that i already made on theme builder link to that will be in the description or in the card above so i can simply remove this i'll set this to 10% and i'll set this to 90% or let's actually set it to 95% so this is my brand new header so i'll click on publish add condition i'll set it to entire site so now that we have set a brand new header for our page you can obviously pick all the elements so you can pick the logo and the menu and the stuff that you want now i can simply go back to theme builder interface again from the same interface and you can see that the header that we just designed is active in here and the preview loads up and you can see the preview in action similarly i can see the site's footer so if i click on that it shows me all the footer templates that i designed as of now this is my current footer i can simply scroll over this preview i can also edit the conditions again if you are absolutely new to theme builder you can check out elementor pro theme builder that i made earlier so again you can do the same thing you can either click add new from here so that will create a brand new footer template i'll remove this footer because i don't like it now this is trash i'll just add a brand new footer for our website and when you click on add new it gives you the templates available let's pick this i'll click on yes so that will become our footer so basically what we are essentially doing is that we are designing header footer 
and basically all the single post templates single page templates all from within a central dashboard which is the brand new visual theme builder interface so i'll just give it some time to load this is my footer template and you can see that from here i can simply click on edit also because of the previous feature you can edit all the things that you can see on your screen using the same interface again we talked about this earlier so you can check out my previous videos in elementor basics playlist now this is our brand new footer i'll simply hit publish again condition let's set it to entire site so we just designed our header and footer from the same interface again i can go to theme builder the central dashboard to see all my headers footers and stuff and you can see the preview of the header and the footers preview is loading up and there you have it so i can simply scan all the parts of the website just by looking at them how cool is that now the same is true for all the templates that you have on your site so if you design a single post template well you can have a preview of it let's actually do that so i just clicked on all parts let's click on add new now it will ask us to pick the part that we want to design so let's say i just want to design a single post template so this will be the design that will be applied for every new post created we talked about theme builder earlier so i'll just click on single post I'll simply publish a pre-built template for now. I'll just click on this. You can design it your own way. You can also design your own archive page using Elementor Pro's theme builder and also by using Elementor custom skin plugin, which is really awesome, which lets you design the loop in archive page. I'll publish this. I'll just set it all singular. I'll publish. Again, let's go to our bird's eye preview, theme builder. And now you can see all the things in action. Now everything with a green dot is basically active on your site. And once this preview loads, you can actually view that. Again, the same thing here. You can scroll through the preview and it shows every part. Again, you can do the same with all other things. So that's really neat, right? So everything you can design each and every template from one central dashboard and preview all of them. And even better, you can change set conditions for each of the template. Conditions basically tell where this template, in this case, this header should appear. So that's the brand new theme builder in action. It's really awesome. Now is the best way to get Elementor Pro. Now they've run into a few issues for a major release like this which is quite expected, but that's it for now. That's the brand new bird's eye view of your entire website. And that's how you design your templates using the brand new theme builder. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you don't have Elementor Pro, get it from the link in the description. There's more coming, so stay tuned.